This flu can hospitalize you unless you know about the 48 hour window. I'm Dr. Zaid Fadul and the next 10 minutes could save you days of suffering. Stick with me. Here's what actually is happening right now. You've probably heard the term super flu thrown around. Let me break down what this actually is because understanding the threat changes how you'll protect yourself. Fact number one, the super flu is H3N2 subclade K. This strain first showed up in June 2025, exploded across the Southern Hemisphere's winter, and now it's surging in the US. Hospitals are seeing case levels they haven't seen in years. Fact number two, this variant has seven to 10 distinct mutations compared to this year's flu vaccine. That's why vaccine protection isn't as strong and why it's spreading even faster. Fact number three, there's no evidence this is more deadly than other flu strains. H3N2 in general hits harder, especially in older adults, but subclade K isn't more dangerous. Fact number four, the real threat, speed and volume. More people infected simultaneously means overwhelmed hospitals and critical treatment mistakes. This is exactly why the next section matters so much. One of the biggest mistakes I see, people assuming they have just a cold when they actually have the flu. That confusion costs them critical treatment time. Here's a difference. A cold develops gradually over two to three days. Runny nose, scratchy throat, and mild fatigue. You could be sick for days before you realize it. The super flu, it hits like a truck. Within one to two days of exposure, you go from feeling fine in the morning to high fever, severe body aches, and total exhaustion by evening. This sudden onset is the key signal. Days one to two are the onset phase. Fever, chills, sore throat, dry cough, profound muscle aches. Here's what almost nobody knows. You're most contagious right then. Peak viral shedding happens on days three to four, which means you can spread it even as you start feeling slightly better. Isolation matters. If you develop sudden fever and body aches, especially if multiple people around you are sick, get tested. The test tells you if it's the flu, COVID, or both. Yes, you can catch both simultaneously. Stick around to the end to learn more. Getting tested early is non-negotiable if you're pregnant, over 65, have chronic conditions like asthma or diabetes, or care for somebody in one of these groups. Early diagnosis means early treatment and the difference between home recovery and hospitalization. The FDA has authorized multiple at-home combo tests that detect flu A, flu B, and COVID-19 with a single nasal swab. Available over the counter at stores like CVS, Walgreens, Target, Walmart, and even Amazon, no prescription needed. Here's a tactical benefit. Instead of sitting in an urgent care waiting room for two hours feeling miserable or driving to the ER and spending hundreds of dollars just to get tested, you swab your nose in the comfort of your home and know within 15 minutes what you're dealing with. Six brands are currently available and I've linked all of them in the description. Most popular options like iHealth and Binax Now cost 10 to $30 per test, saving you hundreds compared to an ER visit. Pro tip, keep a couple test kits in your medicine cabinet right now, especially if you have kids, elderly parents, or anyone with chronic conditions. If you test positive on day one, call your doctor immediately and ask about antivirals within that critical 48 hour window, instead of wasting a full day waiting for an appointment. Need a doctor while traveling? Call us at Bespoke Concierge MD. We're available nationwide and can send antivirals right to your local pharmacy. Even past the 48 hour window, we can protect your family with prophylactic treatment. You can check out the video linked above for accessing our virtual urgent care platform. Hold on, before I go further, let me show you something most doctors don't emphasize enough. When you test positive for the super flu, you're standing in a critical window and the clock is ticking. You have 48 hours. If you're high risk, pregnant, elderly, chronic conditions, or severe symptoms, your doctor has a medication called oseltamivir, AKA Tamiflu. Here's a game changer. It still works against H3N2 subclade K, even with all these mutations. But, and this is crucial, timing is everything. Start Tamiflu within 48 hours of first symptoms and it works. Wait until day five, most of the benefit is gone. Get started in the first six to 12 hours. Research shows you can reduce your entire illness by one to two days and lessen its severity. Let me put that in perspective. Instead of being sick for a full week or longer, you could be significantly better in three to four days. For high risk groups, this isn't just about comfort, it's about preventing complications. Tamiflu reduces hospitalization risk, reduces length of stay, and lowers your chance of needing intensive care. For pregnant women especially, early treatment is critical for protecting both you and your baby. Here's what you do. Day one, get tested. Positive result, call your doctor and ask about starting Tamiflu immediately. Don't wait. Say it's a super flu and you want antivirals now. The main side effect, nausea or vomiting, which affects five to 10% of people that take it. The fix, take it with food or ask for an anti-nausea medication alongside it. The side effect is worth the benefit. Another option, Zofluza, a one and done antiviral treatment. 
It has a 10% resistance rate for H3N2, but when it works, it works great. Quick question, are you taking notes? You should be, here's why. Most people with the super flu recover at home, but what you do during those first seven to 10 days matters enormously. Remedy number one, over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen or acetaminophen. But here's a trap, many flu medication combos already contain these. Check labels so you don't accidentally double dose. You need to be mindful of the side effects before you take them. Beyond medication, use a cool washcloth on your forehead and the back of your neck. Warm baths with Epsom salt and baking soda. These aren't fancy, but they do work. Remedy number two, hydration is non-negotiable. Drink water constantly, but also drink warm bone broth from chicken or beef. Why? Broth hydrates you and loosens congestion and provides protein and electrolytes your immune cells need. It's not just comfort food, it's medicine. Gatorade works really well too. You can check out my video on hydration techniques linked above. Remedy number three, for throat and cough, gargle with warm salt water. A half teaspoon of salt and eight ounces of warm water, two to four times daily, it works great. Then try honey and herbal tea with ginger, turmeric, or garlic. Honey suppresses cough and has antibacterial properties. Check out my video on treating the common cold linked above for more info on these different techniques. Remedy number four, run a humidifier in your bedroom, especially at night. Don't have one? We got you covered. Close the bathroom door, run a hot shower, and breathe the steam for 10 minutes. This opens airways and reduces inflammation. Remedy number five. Activity raises your body temperature and slows recovery. Your immune system heals during sleep. This isn't laziness, this is medicine. Real medicine. Need help sleeping while sick? Check out my video on pro sleep tips and sleep hygiene linked above. If after seven to 10 days your symptoms haven't improved, they're getting worse, you develop a fever that won't break or a cough that won't quit after two to three weeks, call your doctor. That's not normal. You might have a secondary bacterial infection. Pause the video right now, screenshot this list, text it to your family group chat. These nine warning signs could literally save someone's life tonight. For adults, go to the ER if you experience difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, chest or abdominal pain, sudden confusion or inability to think clearly, severe or persistent vomiting that won't stop, symptoms that improve then suddenly worsen with high fever and a worse cough. That could be a sign of pneumonia. For children, watch out for fast or labored breathing or struggling to breathe, bluish lips, skin, or face, severe muscle pain where they refuse to walk, and any fever over 104 degrees Fahrenheit or really any fever at all in a baby under 16 weeks old. Additional warning signs for children, can't stay hydrated, they aren't waking up or responding normally, extremely irritable and won't accept comfort, no tears when crying, no wet diapers for about eight hours or more, or have a seizure, these are all ER signs. These aren't maybe go to the ER signs, these are leave your house right now signs. Don't overthink it, just go. So I wanna switch gears and talk about the ugly twins, COVID and influenza. I get two questions often. Question number one, can you get the super flu twice in one season? Yes, actually. Multiple flu strains circulate simultaneously. Influenza A includes H1N1 and H3N2, plus there's influenza B. When you recover from one strain, your body builds immunity to that specific strain only. So if you had H1N1 in December, you could catch H3N2 in February. I'm sorry. They're different viruses, different immunity. It's uncommon to get the flu twice within the same month, but it does happen, especially if your immune system is still recovering. The good news, if you've already had flu this season, you've built some immune memory, and the second infection is usually milder. This is why it's so frustrating for patients that get a flu shot and think it causes the flu, when more than likely they just were exposed to a different strain than the flu shot covered for. Question number two, can you have flu and COVID at the same time? Yes, but it's rare. This is called a co-infection. I've only treated it a few times in the hospital. Less than 5% of hospitalized patients test positive for both simultaneously. But when it happens, research shows people with both infections have significantly higher risk of serious complications and death. The solution is straightforward get vaccinated against both flu and COVID. The CDC confirms you can get both vaccines at the same time without reducing effectiveness of either one. Both vaccines take about two weeks to build full immunity. So get them before peak flu season. Check out my breakdown on the truth about flu shots linked above. Now here's a confusion I see constantly. People unsure when it's safe to go back to work or school. Let me give you the exact timeline. You become contagious about one day before symptoms even appear. That's why this virus spreads so easily. You're infectious and you don't even know it yet. Once symptoms start, you stay contagious for roughly five to seven days. You're most infectious on days three to four when viral shedding peaks. Here's a gold standard for returning to work or school. Stay home until you've been fever-free for 24 hours without using fever-reducing medication. 
your body temperature needs to stay below 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit on its own. Not with Tylenol, not with ibuprofen, on its own. Most people can return three to seven days after symptoms started as long as they meet the fever-free criteria. After you return, a lingering cough or stuffiness for a week or two is normal and doesn't make you contagious. But if you still have a fever, you're still contagious. Stay home. And I know how annoying that cough is. You can reach out to us at Bespoke Concierge MD for good prescription cough meds to help you get through this period. All right, let's pause for a second. If you're watching this because you're sick right now, skip back to the chapter on at-home testing. For everyone else, here's your complete action plan. Step number one, recognize early symptoms. Sudden fever, body aches, sore throat, dry cough. Don't assume it's a cold. Step two, get tested immediately. Know if it's flu, COVID, or both. Step three, if you test positive and you're high risk or symptoms are severe, call your doctor ASAP. Ask about Tamiflu. Timing is everything. Within 48 hours is optimal. Step four, start home treatment regardless. Hydrate aggressively, rest. Follow the five proven remedies we covered earlier. Step five, watch for emergency signs, difficulty breathing, chest pain, confusion, severe vomiting, symptoms that approve then worsen. These mean ER now. Step six, protect vulnerable family members. They're our truest treasures. Isolate if possible. Get your family evaluated for preventive medications. Step seven, return to work and school only when fever free for 24 hours without medication. Remember, you can get the flu twice in one season and you can have flu and COVID simultaneously. It sucks, but stay vigilant. Here's what separates people who recover smoothly from people who struggle for weeks. The difference between reactive care and proactive personalized care. You might think, I've got it, I'll handle it myself. But here's the reality. Day two hits hard. You're not thinking clearly. You're unsure whether to start antivirals. You're wondering if that symptom is normal or if you should go to the ER. You start second guessing every decision. That's the moment you need a partner. Someone with medical expertise who knows you can call you back quickly and understands that you're treating the super flu isn't just about prescribing medication. It's about monitoring your whole recovery. Your health is too important to navigate alone. If you're dealing with the super flu right now, or if you want personalized support to navigate this entire flu season and optimize your health year round, you're welcome to join my practice at Bespoke Concierge MD. We're here to help nationwide, offering one-on-one -on -one support that treats you as an individual, not a number. We provide comprehensive evaluation, evidence-based treatment plans, and ongoing monitoring from the moment you contact us to the moment you're fully recovered and thriving again. Don't waste another day feeling unsure or navigating complex health decisions alone. Visit the link in the description to explore what Bespoke Concierge MD can do for you and your family. If you're still with me, drop a pill emoji in the comments. I read every one and reply to medical questions. Thanks for watching. This video on the right reveals what flu shot companies don't want you to know. The playlist on the left has everything you need for flu season. And hit subscribe. I post medical content weekly. If this information helped you, share this video. Someone in your life is probably dealing with the super flu right now, and your share could be the difference between them making the right treatment decision and waiting too long.